Hey guys, my name is Brian Skinny from SecretsOfSushi.com and this is 3 Minutes of Sushi. These videos are made from questions being sent to me from people just like you. If you guys have a question you'd like me to answer, shoot me an email at brian at secretsofsushi.com. And this week's question is, can you refreeze fish for sushi? Uh, this is kind of a hard question to answer because it's both yes and no. Starting with the no, uh, refreezing fish is going to lower the flavor and the texture of the fish, which are obviously both really important in sushi. But the longer answer is yes, under very specific conditions. Typically when you buy fish, the fish has been previously flash frozen, shipped to wherever you bought it from, and then thawed out before selling it to you. Which means the fish has already been frozen one time. And in the most effective way that it could be, which is flash freezing, or rapidly freezing the fish under extremely cold temperatures. Most freezers that we have in our refrigerators or the freezers that we have at home don't quite get low enough to freeze the fish quickly enough so that it doesn't form ice crystals within the fish itself. When these ice crystals form, they break down some of the cells within the fish and release a lot of water, thus making your fish taste kind of watered down and extremely soggy but you can refreeze fish under some very specific conditions. The first condition is that when the fish initially goes from being flash frozen to being thawed, it's done so in a refrigerator below 42 degrees. So you've got about a 10 degree range for when you can thaw your fish from being flash frozen to being completely thawed. And that process typically takes a long time. Once the fish is thawed, it has come up to about 60 degrees, then the bacteria has already started to grow and if you refreeze it, it's not really going to do you any good. It's not necessarily going to kill the bacteria that started growing when you thawed it out. So let's say that you have a piece of flash frozen fish. It did thaw between 32 and 42 degrees Fahrenheit over the course of, let's say, 24 hours. And then you took it out and with a completely clean board, clean hands or gloves and a clean knife, you cut the fish down into pieces that you're going to use that day and then you patted the fish dry, then you covered it with dry paper towels, and then saran wrapped that, and then put it into a freezer bag, squeezed all the air out, and then refroze it, technically, you could do this. And it wouldn't necessarily be detrimental to your health, because the exposure to the air and the time that it was removed from the refrigerator is minimal. You, you can actually do this if this is unavoidable. However, it's best if you're able to purchase the fish that you know that you're going to consume in one sitting and thaw only that amount of fish. So to wrap it up, can you refreeze fish for sushi? Technically, yes, but I wouldn't recommend it. Ideally, you would buy the amount of fish you're able to eat that day, and if you have any leftover fish, you store it in a dry, sealed container in the refrigerator and consume that fish within three to five days. If you pull the fish out after three to five days and you've tested it to make sure that it's not falling apart, that when you push your finger into it, the engine stays there and doesn't bounce back like it's supposed to, or if the fish smells pungent and, well, fishy, then just throw it out. Or maybe you can bake the fish or deep fry it. But remember, when in doubt, throw it out. I'm more concerned about your safety than a little bit of fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to share it with your friends like and comment below, and uh, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date to all my upcoming videos. My name is Brian Skinny from SecretsOfSushi.com, and this has been 3 Minutes of Sushi.